All right, all right, all right. It is floor time. I got everything cleaned out of here. I got a grinder rented. I bought a new shop bag. of things battered and F. And uh, I did some testing yesterday. So this isn't really a grinder. It's a, I forget what they called it. It's a, it's a diamond disc polishing whatever. I don't even know. It's not gonna take a whole lot of concrete off, but it is gonna scuff it enough so that way my stain will set in because I don't really need to level a whole lot of this. I just need to get the top part of it off, whatever paint, grease, junks on top of it. I need to get all that off so that way my stain will sink into the concrete itself. And then, uh, then I can seal it and this building's ready for cars. So today I'm going to take my shop back. I'm gonna vacuum all the junk up, all the big debris. Um, I've already swept most of it up and then I'm going to probably, I don't know how many passes it's gonna take with this grinder, um, grind the top layer off. Once this is done, I'm gonna go grind Alex's uh, shipping receiving area in her new shop so that way we can get the most use out of the, the rental. And then after that, I'm gonna start playing with stains because I don't exactly know what I'm doing. I've tested a little bit, but I haven't tested with a big sprayer or anything like that, but I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and uh, I'm just kind of going to wing it, so stay tuned. It's going to be a lot, a lot of dust and grinding, but I'm actually really excited because this thing's really coming together, so. Don't be afraid of the dark. Be careful with stars. Not every light is going to guide you, baby. Don't let it rain on your spark. Keep it close to your heart. All of the pressure's going to drive you crazy. Cause you rise to the madness. In the morning, it's all gonna vanish. Don't be afraid of the dark. Be careful with stars. Not every light is gonna guide you. Not every light is gonna guide you. Yeah, when I blow up, I'ma so high like Peter Pan. In real life, be living all my dreams. If I'm waking up, it's in a foreign land. Whole wrist covered up in ice. Dealership, never ask the price. I hit the molly ball with my dogs. Yeah, I swipe it once without thinking twice. Cause this is what I was made for. Man, I know this is what I came for. On a big stage, couple thousand people, and they do whatever I say. So, have chicks that color the rainbow. Yeah, chains on me like Django. Be a long way from my tank low. Cause my Tesla charge for them bank rolls. And I'm grinding. Money on my mind and I'm headed to the top I won't stop until I find it write my name in diamonds but all these lights are blinding I wonder is it worth it feel like I'm losing my mind yeah remind me don't be afraid of the dark be careful with stars okay so after days of grinding and more grinding and sweeping and blowing and <laughs> more grinding and more sweeping and more blowing I am at the point where uh, I'm gonna vacuum it for the last time because I started vacuuming, then I realized I missed a bunch of spots. So I would vacuum, then I'd have to regrind something with my hand grinder, and then it'd just make me vacuum even more. So, excuse me. I went and got Dennis's uh, two stroke blower and just blew everything off. That way I could see where I needed to grind and blowing was a lot easier than Vacuuming, obviously vacuuming will get more stuff up, but it's more time consuming. So I was kind of going backwards and forwards. So that allowed me to blow everything off, grind where I needed to. I have one more spot right here that is where I don't know what happened right there with the concrete, but somebody really piled it up there. So I'm gonna grind that last spot and then I'm gonna vacuum this whole place. And then it is finally time to stain. I've been working on this all week. I also went and ground Alex's back shop for her, so that took a little bit of time. Um, the diamond scuff pad, basically, that I got on that polisher was really good for Alex's smooth concrete, but for my concrete, that is, as you can see, very wavy and unlevel. I think I probably should have got a grinder, but the grinder, um, is a lot more aggressive and I believe even if I did just grind this I would have to go back over it with a less grittier scuff pad so for now I mean on it obviously I'm gonna make it kind of splotchy anyways so the highs and lows and dark, dark spots are, don't really bother me they're not gonna bother me I know that floor over there is way more unlevel than this floor here so um, we'll just see how this one turns out because I could probably spend another six weeks 
making this floor perfect, but it is what it is because it is, um, you know, the the vibe or the, the ambiance, the feel that you get when you walk in here is not going to be, I don't want it to be showroom. I want it to be old and industrial and gritty, you know, so I am going to do my last bit of vacuuming. Groot's over here laying in between the plastic and here, so that way he's still half in the AC. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But yeah, so I'm gonna plug my lights in and I'm gonna get to work. Uh, Alex, is, Alex and Meg are off doing the Rebel Rally right now. They're doing training for that, which is uh, all women's cross country uh, off-road race. Um, so they're gone. Dennis is at his shop. He's busting to get the Iski Roadster done for SEMA. And I'm here working on my stuff so that way I can get cars in here. Um, Alex's aunt's going to be in town and she offered to help me. So you guys will get to meet Teresa. She is definitely a character. <laughs> and uh, she's going to help me stain my floor. She's really good at design and stuff like that. So I could use every creative touch that is offered because... I know what I want it to look like, but me making it look like that doesn't always transfer over to what I want. <laughs> so she's going to be tapping in to give a helping hand and hopefully by tomorrow, this thing will be stained and we'll be putting some clear coat on it. So stay tuned. So now that my cleaning, prepping, all that's done, I've spent more time cleaning and prepping than anything else, but that's just like pretty much any other thing in life that you do. The prep, the clean, all that means more than the application itself. So I've got, what is it called? Concrete Resurrection, got it on Amazon. And basically all you do is shake this up and you add it. This one quart will make two and a quarter gallons. So I've got two gallons right there of uh, water all you do is mix this with water and voila spray it on she's good to go so i'm gonna mix this up and then we're gonna start spraying around the edges to kind of get everything edged in and then i'm gonna put the first coat down and see this should do roughly says 500 square foot per gallon so this should do a thousand square foot we'll see how far i can stretch it Okay, so my floors kind of turned out like the great value version of what I was kind of going for. Um, I did not have nearly enough stain. Um, I think I bought the too much of the wrong color anyways or tried to do the base the wrong color. I was going for like a brown floor with dark accents and instead I bought the stuff to do a dark floor with brown accents and then I couldn't even cover it all in more than one coat which as you can see left it very splotchy then when I tried to add the brown it just didn't really do much of what I wanted here you can see it better 
see it better like this. I mean, if I put clear over this, it probably, it would bring out the brown and all the other stuff, but this just isn't really what I wanted. Um, I want the floor to be more brown with dark accents to go with the walls. And I wanna keep the walls more brown with a dark, dark color over here. And I just don't have enough color on the floor and I'm out of stain. So me and Teresa spent all day yesterday searching for stain in Fort Smith. And we found Sherwin Williams actually carries a nice brand of stain that is water-based, but it'll not be here for another week. So I'm kind of dead in the water. So we spent the rest of the day shopping around for other stuff we could do. We went and looked at tongue and groove and looked at other stuff that I might be able to do up here to make this look better on the outside and the inside. And then kind of did the pricing and I'm, I haven't checked or I'm going to check to see if replacing all these windows would just be about, you know, just a single pane of glass that I can frame in myself with wood, I think is gonna be just as expensive, or, you know, uh, around the same price as if I did tongue and groove up there, like cedar. So I'm, I would rather keep the natural light coming in here and do windows up there. So kind of want to stand still on that. Um, we're gonna paint all this aluminum, but then we went to Home Depot and I ended up buying two sliding barn doors, the stuff to finish my vanity, the stuff to trim in the doors, um, the stuff to stain the doors. I bought some lag bolts to put in the doors that'll look like industrial style rivets, you know? So instead of working over there, which it's killing me not to work over there because once I get that floor done, I can start moving cars in and start working over there, but I cannot put anything on that floor that's gonna get it dirty or also ruin that stain. You know, I'll have to clean it all again, which I just spent like two days cleaning it so I could stain, you know, do that, that much staining. So I have to leave that building idle for now, but we're going to be doing barn doors. As you can see, I got my break room set up there and my bathroom halfway set up to where I just basically got a shower in it right now, a shower and a toilet and a mini fridge. So we're gonna get my vanity set up trim these in, barn doors, stain the barn doors, do all kinds of cool stuff with that since I'm kind of dead in the water with the floor over there. Um, and I don't really have the money to, or it's the weekend anyways, I can't just get glass or whatever to fix up the front of that building. And I don't wanna just go spend a bunch of money on cedar when I would rather keep the natural light. And it'll give me kind of a base on what it might cost to redo these windows right here so took i mean the the building over there looks 150 times better it looks like a whole brand new building you know i only paid fifteen thousand dollars for that building that small building i got as kind of a bonus with this big building and i paid fifteen thousand for that because it was practically condemned because of how bad the back wall was but now like me and dennis were saying it last night we were looking at it the floors look awesome, you know, especially, I mean, even though the stain is splotchy or whatever, the floors look good after grinding them, the back wall's done. Once I get some uh, drywall on that back wall, paint it black, I might even have my mom and sister, they're coming in a couple of weeks, paint this yellow stuff black and kind of wash it to make it look like distressed. Then I'll have the brown floors that'll really go with the rock and the brick. This building right here is gonna be worth, I would think at least triple or quadruple what I paid for it. And I haven't even got, I, I still gotta put the electrical back in it, but I've, Dennis has, Dennis has an old seven and a half ton roof, uh, rooftop unit, package unit that he paid like a couple hundred bucks for, he said like 15, 20 years ago, and he's not using it three phase so I can run power from over here to that unit. And I'm gonna stick it right outside there and run the ductwork through here so then, once I get the power back in here, it'll have electrical, um, it'll have heating, air, brand new floors, brand new back wall. I mean, it's basically be a completely renovated building besides what I got to do up here for the windows. So this building is, I would say at least 60% done. You know, the very hard, crude, super dirty work is done. Hyperlight contacted me and they're gonna give me eight 21,000 watt high bay lights to put up here and a uh, a section of their honeycomb lighting, which I think I'll put right by the garage door back there. So 
really excited about that. I'll be doing a whole video, putting the lights up and all that, but this place is really coming together. I'm excited. So as much as I hate to do it, I just, I could put the clear over this floor and it would make these colors pop more. And I think it would look pretty dang good. It would look way better than what it was but I'm always gonna come in here and know what I wanted and see what I have. And it's just, I don't think I'm gonna be happy with it. I'm always gonna wonder what if, and it's a learning experience. It was my first time doing stain. So I'm learning as I go. And I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna halfway do it. I wanna whole way do it. So I'm gonna grit my teeth and have some patience, do it the right way. Um, and take a break on this one for now and start working on that building over there doing some doing some stuff over there because i'm trying to save up money to do the back wall so i'm trying not to do a bunch of stuff over here that i'll have to redo once i tear the back wall out but there's a lot of stuff i can still do i've just been focusing time and energy on this building so i can get cars in here to work on them but that's why i was so so dedicated to getting this floor done but it's just not what i want so I'm gonna, like I said, grip my teeth, do work over here while I can, ship parts. Thank you everybody that's been ordering parts and t-shirts. I know some of my t-shirts were out of stock. The site says that they were in stock. I refunded the money, I'm sorry. I need to get another order of shirts in, but uh, money's tight right now. We're just doing everything with the buildings. But again, thank you to everybody that's ordering parts. You know, I'm selling, I'm doing just enough business to fund this and just keep, it's like a whole revolving door, which, I love and I'm really enjoying it. So I'm gonna do some cleanup around here. I just got my new dumpster outside. So I just threw away a bunch of trash over here. I'm gonna sweep some stuff up and then I think Teresa's on her way here and we're gonna do some, and Groot's trying to play ball with me. We're gonna do some staining and some trimming and some painting and some plumbing and just get after it. It's a beautiful Sunday here and I'm probably gonna hang a light up over here cause it is way too dark over here. So for how bad I feel like I failed on my stain floors, which still isn't really that much of a failure because I know I just need more dye <clears throat> or more stain, whatever. I feel like me and Teresa really killed it on these doors, mainly Teresa because I knew what I wanted, but I don't, sometimes I don't know how to get there. And I would have never done the trim like this, but she suggested it and I was like, huh okay and it turned out killer look at this Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. i still have my other door over there that uh i gotta hang it but we ran out of time last night but look at that i've never stained anything i've never i've never stained any type of wood i've never done any type of trim work so uh she taught me basically how to stain which is super easy but look at that these doors were like a bright bright wood color and now they're dark they look like old old industrial style wood like i wanted these uh what do you call them they're not lag bolts they're uh whatever you call them oh man i i i always have a brain fart when it comes to these bolts um but either way drilled uh drilled holes put those in there dipped them painted them cut the bolts off, cut the, the excess length off the back. And I mean, look at this. Ta -da. It's like the smoothest sliding door I've ever seen. 
and we've got trim now. I re we ran out of trim here on this one, but I mean, you can see the difference between this and that. It looks so stinking good. Don't mind all my uh, my materials in there. It looks crappy, but I put I hung I hung an extra light that I had, so I had some so I have some better light up here and swept it up. And now this whole corner of this shop just looks a hundred times better to me, and I feel a hundred times better walking in here. And I just it's amazing what a little paint trim and a door will do for you because it is just awesome. Uh, here, I'll give you a better look at the door. So it's just a Home Depot barn door kit. It comes with the track and all that stuff, but we put, like I said, we put the, uh, they're not lag bolts, I know. Um, dude, it's right on the tip of my tongue. I don't know why I can't figure out what those are called, but just look at that. It turned out so freaking good. And it almost, almost, the way this stuff looks in here, it almost makes me want to keep the floors kind of light. Like the way these floors look with that, it looks really good. Because I was going to do a really dark floor, like a almost a dark charcoal, like what I was trying to do in there. But a dark charcoal or a black with some white and teal accents. Because my logo that I have has teal in it. But I kind of digging the way this looks right now especially once i get all that trimmed in and my vanity in and all that but i'm just super pumped about this it looks so good it looks i don't know i've just again i've never had anything this nice so i just i really enjoy just sitting here opening and closing this door because i go to places and i see doors like this and i'm like man that's nice one day i hope i'm rich enough to have that and it turns out you don't have to be rich to have it. You just got to go to Home Depot. <laughs> and I'm even a Lowe's fan, but Home Depot's got a good deal on these things. So if you're looking for a good barn door kit, this whole kit, it comes with the thing that keeps it on the track down low right here that I had to uh, anchor into the concrete. Um, it comes with this track, the stoppers, all the mounting hardware. It even comes with a one by four, but we used one by sixes. It comes with a one by four to mount up there. And it comes with stuff if you're mounting it in concrete for like 200 bucks. So I know 200 bucks is a lot of money, but for all this stuff and all the time it saves you from trying to build one of these, that's freaking cheap. And the door is really good quality. It even comes with this handle. Ta-da. It doesn't come with the lag bolts though. Not the lag bolts. Whatever they're called, dude. I'm going to look it up when I get done with this video and I'll know exactly what it is. In my next video, I'm going to tell you what they're called because you're all probably saying... They're called this, and I know, but I can't think of it right now. Also, this I know looks backwards where the handle is, but when the other door is right here, it's gonna create a hexagon, and I think that'll look really cool. So, and don't worry, it's spaced out enough, it's not gonna hit my thermostat. So we're all good, boys, look at that. I'm just really happy about this. Groot, what do you think about it, bud? You love it? Okay, yep, Groot loves it. We're good to go. That's it for this video. Next video, I will have more floor stain. And uh, what is the date today? Today's August 28th. So we're going into September. Mm, October 14th, there's a big car show here. Um, it's called October Days or something. And there's a big car show right here on Main Street, uh, Boonville. And it's literally going to be right in front of my shop. There's going to be all kinds of cars here. And I'm kind of shooting for that'll be my first day. I'm going to have cars in that shop. Hopefully that shop will be pretty much finished by then. Um, Drew, I don't want to play ball. He just comes and drops his ball by me. Like it's okay, human time to play ball. But October 14th, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Um, because I really want to get this shop done and I mean I'm definitely looking forward to it because my mom my sister and my niece are going to come hang out they're going to camp out in the shop with me help me redo some of the old furniture that I got from my grandma and I'd really love to have some drywall up back there my AC unit my package unit put back there the electrical put back in here the lights hung and these floors done and maybe even some paint work done up there other than that, 
I know it's a long shot and it's a lot of work to do in that time, but we're moving pretty good. And I mean, I, the more I look at this floor, the less I feel like a failure, but it's just way too splotchy and needs more color. So I'm not too mad about this floor. It's not a total fail. I think I did all the prep work right. I did all the clean work right, all that stuff. I just needed more cowbell. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's not a super beautiful, awesome, crazy payoff, but the next video, that's where it'll be at. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, if you're in the market for some G body long travel brackets, go over to nickybobbyinc.com, get you some G body long travel brackets. If you're in the market to not have to get under your car when you want to tie it down, go get you some NBI tie down extenders. You just hook these bad boys under your car. And I even sell this bracket right here that you can bolt on to most like aftermarket housings. Um, I think this is, they're normally three quarter bolt spacing. This is inch and a half. So it'll go um, between, not between two bolts, but it'll, you'll skip a bolt, whatever. This bolt spacing works. This is half inch. You can order it with this, or if most shocks, I did a half inch in case you wanted to bolt it onto your frame. But if you are bolted on to your shock mount, I'll set, um, you can click three eighths in the options on nickybobbyinc.com and I will send you two um, bushings, aluminum bushings going here to make these three eighths bolts. And we also have, let me walk over here. We now have billet ball joint spacers back in stock. I just thought, I literally spent my life, I've been spending, I mean, I've spent every dime I have on this building and then I spent every dime I didn't have stocking back up on parts because that's how I'm paying for the building. So yeah, I'm a broke boy, but we're doing good. We got NBI, ow, NBI um, Caltrack leaf spring brackets, adjustable shock mounts, adjustable, and change the bar angle on your Caltrack and it gives you a tie down extender hole. Got those back in stock. And last but not least, let me find a set. I've got them all over the place in different, in different bags and boxes. And I have a whole bunch of them sitting over here. Nova long travel brackets. Still got a bunch of those. They've been selling really well and the people, I. I just make a post today. There's been people sending me all kinds of pictures of them installed. They love them. They're working good. They're fitting good. So I just love that. I love taking something, turning it from an idea to reality, printing it, turning it in production, selling them, and then seeing the people put them on and working just as good as I plan them to. So happy about that. Once again, thank you everybody for the orders and the support and watching my videos. Um, racing, I can taste it, it's coming soon. I'm so close to having these awesome shops done and then it is race mode. So um, to the people that ordered the shirts that I didn't actually have in stock, I'm sorry. Like I said, I already refunded your money. I'm gonna work on that. My main focus is on the parts and the buildings right now. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I know merch is where it's at. I got to get back on that. That's my bad. I'm slacking. So once again, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm finally, I've, once again, I'm done with this video. So last time I'm saying I'm done with the video.